So I'm Dan, I'm an acoustic engineer with Larson Davis. We're here in Heber City, Utah. We're using the LXT QPR sound level meter to perform some gunshot measurements. The LXT QPR is a system for firearm acoustic analysis. It includes a Soundtrack LXT sound level meter, LXT1 preamplifier, and a quarter inch pre-polarized pressure microphone, the 377C10. What are we doing? Giving you an obnoxious tone in your mic. <laughs> We took to the mountains in November to show you how to measure a gunshot. Our team consists of Dan, the acoustic engineer, Justin, a firmware engineer, Kevin, a software engineer doing firearm safety, an application engineer, Tommy, and the engineer manager, Ken. Oh, and me, the technical writer. Hand off, hand off. Hand off. We're gonna walk you through how to set up your meter, how to set up for the measurement, and how to take your measurement, and then what to do with the data after you're all done. To set up your meter for a basic gunshot measurement is really rather simple. In the Setup Manager under SLM, you set your peak weighting to Z, and that's really it. We do recommend setting your control to a 5 second time stop with an auto store that you set in System Properties. This will make it so you press run, make your shot, and in 5 seconds the measurement will stop and store, giving you a file with the LZ peak for that gunshot. If you have the LXT E and V option installed, this means you now have measurement history. You can select measurement history. So now you press run, make your shot, the measurement will stop. And we did this five times for our testing. This way our data appears in rows with each peak DB for each gunshot made. Turn off auto store if you're making a measurement this way. Now Dan is going to walk you through how to set up your equipment for the test. So for our setup, we set up similar to the mil standard 1474E. So we have one microphone here that is at the height of the muzzle and the microphone is, is one meter to the left of the barrel. Uh, this microphone up here is representing the head position of the shooter and can be used to measure the, the uh, sound levels that a shooter might experience when he is firing. Dan set up two microphones to record two common testing positions at once. We are at an outdoor range and it's important to note where at the range we will be measuring. Okay, So we're away from the canopy to avoid reflections from any surface. So quite a ways out here. Kevin set up a computer so I could record the live data on camera. So we have the computer set up to be able to monitor and um, get kind of a centralized location for viewing the information on the meters. We have two LXTs connected via USB cable um, to a hub and then to the laptop. We wanted the most bang for our bucks, so we have one LXT at the barrel position and one near the virtual ear of the shooter position. So before we start taking a measurement, it's always important that we calibrate both of our meters. Um, I'm using the Larson Davis Cal 200, um, and I'm going to calibrate on this microphone first. So I've started the signal, and we're going to set the levels here on our meter so that they match. We calibrate our other microphone as well. After we are done with our measurement, we are going to calibrate again, so the data can be validated as good data. We are almost ready for the test, but first Justin is going to talk about the firearm. When you're measuring gunshots, there's two sounds to consider. One is the shock wave of the blast of the expanding gas. It's similar to the sound when you uncork a champagne bottle or something, the pop. And the second one is the sonic boom when the bullet's traveling faster than the speed of sound. We're set up to measure the first one. So we're going to have Kevin shoot this, this firearm. Um, he's going to be kind of down low to avoid reflections from his body. Kevin is going to watch for Dan to press run and then fire around. We do the same thing five times.
While this might not be the most exciting readout, the data gathered is, especially if you have comparable data. If you look, the sheet on top is the meter at the barrel position, and the sheet on the bottom is the shooter position. There's almost an 8 dB difference, with the shooter actually getting a quieter sound. The maximum permissible sound exposure before hearing protection is required for a peak level is 140 dB, to put that into perspective. Depending on your testing needs, there are many ways that you can gather and read out data. This was just one, and hopefully it was helpful to get you started on your firearm acoustic analysis.